Now, have you ever woken up brushing your teeth and thinking how beautiful you must look? And then you look into the bathroom mirror and wow, what are those bags under the eyes? They look kind of awful, don't they? Especially when you are just half awake, half asleep and you just stare back at your image in the mirror and find out that, God, I have eye bags. So what are these commonly called eye bags? And now you're wondering, how do these eye bags occur? Well, it is due to the weaken and the sagging skin, which is relaxing and of course creating what looks like a pouch just under the eyes. Now the pads of fat under the eyes will then slip down to fill the space, giving the appearance of a bag. And that is what causes that oh feeling. Now the excess fluid in the body can also collect in this area, making the lower eyelids look even slightly more puffy and swollen. If you have shadows or discolored skin under the eyes, it will even make the eye bags look even more prominent. Now under the eye bags are mostly a cosmetic issue. They are really harmless but can sometimes give a sign of an underlying medical condition. You may sometimes notice that the bags under your eyes are more noticeable or prominent in the morning. The reason is that most eye bags in such instances allow the fluid all night long to settle in and create that eye bag. So then you wonder what is then going to be my solution and what are the causes of these eye bags? Well, one of the causes is the process of growing old and aging, which is unfortunately going to happen to everybody. As we get older, we experience a lot of fat padding and most importantly, collagen, the major component of connective tissues in the skin, muscles and other body parts. Now, lower collagen levels cause the skin and the underlying muscles all over the body to lose elasticity and tone. Now, this sagging is really noticeable around the eyes because the skin there is very thin. So there you have the main reason for those eye bags. So what are the other factors that could contribute to bags under the eyes? They are allergies, eye fatigue, infections, fluid retention, a lack of sleep obviously, and stress. Now normally the swelling will go off after a while, but if the swelling becomes more severe, painful, itchy, red, or persistent, Please do go and see an eye doctor just to be sure that there are no other issues involved. Now that we know what causes the eye bag, so is there something we could do to get rid of the bags under the eyes? Well, if you have it determined as far as you can what causes the eye bags, it is time to see what we can do about it because eye bags really don't look very good. When the bags under your eyes are a result of environmental or health issues, Simple home remedies and lifestyle changes may help reduce their appearance. So what are the remedies? Obviously, get enough sleep, which may be anytime between 8 to 9 hours of non-interrupted sleep for adults, and of course depending on your age. Sleep with your pillow a little bit elevated, a few inches to keep the fluid from pooling around your eyes. Now, do drink sufficient water, which is important for the bodily functions. And the common guidance is two liters of water is good for health. Now, do talk to your doctors on what is best for you, as you may differ from person to person. Do avoid fluids before the time time, before, and the thing is, do have less salt. Don't eat too much salt throughout the day, because this could result in you getting up in the middle of the night to go to the washroom, disrupting your sleep pattern. Now use a cold compress and a piece of cool damp washcloth to make sure and just press it against your eyes softly while you are sitting upright. Some of the popular cucumber slices or cold damp tea bags do help reduce swelling or with the eye mask. Avoid your allergy symptoms by taking medication 
as required. Point avoid any over the counter medication unless it is recommended. For the ladies, do use cosmetic concealers which can help to cover up the dark eye shadows. If you need to go out and meet other people, especially customers, or when it provides you with a bit more confidence, you can use this. If you are a smoker, do quit or reduce your smoking. Well, because it's not generally generally good for health and eyesight, it will also slow the collagen loss that thins the skin. So there you have it. These are the main ones that you can do naturally. There are of course other things like uh, chemical peels, laser resurfacing and dermal fillers. But I think that before you go for any of those, do consult your doctor and be sure of what is good for you.